when you become a believer, your horn, as a child of God, you have the ability to encounter, to receive the horn, and for your horn to start growing. Say, the horn of my salvation. The horn of my salvation. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse number 3. So when I become a believer, the horn of my salvation, when I get salvation, when I say, Jesus, right now I'm a Christian. I've accepted you as my Lord and personal Savior. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse number 3. Jesus, I've accepted you as my Lord and my personal Savior. It just gives me the ability to start encountering my horn. It says, it says, the God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. So when I have salvation, I have the right to request of my home. When I say, Jesus, from now I have a new page with you in my life. My horn is supposed to start working for me. Shout and say the horn of my salvation. The horn of my salvation. One more time, let go say the horn of my salvation. The horn of my salvation. Now I'm also letting you know that your horn is connected to your mouth. Now this is the serious thing. The words that come from the mouth of a person, if your words are supposed to be potent, if your words are supposed to be strong, if your words are supposed to be relevant, when you speak and people are not supposed to see your words as follies, your horns are supposed to work well. If you talk and people don't obey you, there's an agenda on your horn. That's right. First Samuel chapter 2 verse number 1. If your enemy's words are higher than your words, your horn is under attack. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoice in the Lord. My heart is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies. enemies. So if you want your mouth to be enlarged, in other words, the volume of my voice, the volume of my sound, Jesus. if it's supposed to be higher than my enemies, my horns have to work. That's right. When I'm going for a meeting, and if my contribution has to be the one that has to be acceptable, my horn has to be elevated. I want to ask you a question. When we speak, is that relevant or do you see your speech as false? If your words have to be on point in life, it's connected to your horn. It says, The moment God exalted my horn, my words, my mouth was enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation.